It's my honour to introduce Grace Balsley, and we are proud that she is one of our own. Most Honourable Pro-Chancellor, I present Grace Balsden to be made Honorary Doctor of Canterbury Christchurch University. Yeah, um, today has been an absolutely amazing experience. It's slightly surreal, you know, having um, graduated in the position of where the graduates are sat back in 2014, you know, to come in, process past them as you're going up to the main stage. It was just, a, yeah, a really kind of overwhelming and surreal moment, but it was really lovely. I think it's really nice because when you're training and our programs um, a full-time program so you're just going day by day and you're putting in those processes but when these moments arise and you kind of been honoured for all the successes and the journey that you've been on um, it's a really lovely moment to just kind of take that moment to pause reflect on all the resilience that you've shown and the determination to kind of overcome barriers and then ultimately have some really great successes so it's been really great to kind of look back and kind of yeah take a moment to reflect on those. I studied sport and exercise science and physical education and I just was reflecting with Paul Carney actually earlier about doing the inclusive practices in PE and doing the goal ball in the, in the sports centre, um, doing the kind of gymnastics with Alison Carney as well. You know, there's a really like fun memories that I, and core cool memories that I hold when I think back uh, about my time here. And then obviously playing the hockey with the girls over three years, winning varsity, you know, having some amazing fun as a group, doing grannies and grandmas and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's just such great memories that I'll always look fondly back on. Um, so yeah, it's, it was a really fun time. Yeah, I was really lucky to be given a sports scholarship and it was something that I really valued. Um, they helped support me and you know, give me extra help when I needed extensions for being away you know, abroad and I couldn't submit things. Um, you know, catching up on lectures and you know, people sending out extra slides um, just to kind of help me stay um, present with what was going on. And you really learn how to ask for help when you need it. Um, and I think that's not a weakness in any sense. Like if you need that extra help, you need to go to someone to talk to. Um, all my lecturers and, and my tutors were fantastic with that, really supported me and tried to like keep me along with everyone else rather than letting me just drop further and further behind. So yeah, I really appreciated that. And, and all the sports science guys who helped me train and, and you know, using the gym and things like that, you know, it was invaluable to me because I wouldn't have been able to keep up both academically and physically, you know, in terms of being where, at the level I was required to be as an elite sports person. I think sport is an amazing place where people come together, the communities that you kind of form and friendships that you form through sport, you know, will carry you through your life. You know, I'm still very close to some of my, the people that I played here at hockey with. Um, yeah, even on my sports program, um, in the in the lectures and stuff, so, you know, the real community and friendships that I've bonded with, and I think that's a fantastic part about you know sport itself. And you know, for young people wanting to become elite elite sports women, men or women, you know, just take every opportunity. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. It's natural. We learn from those processes. But you know, just have the courage to put yourself out there, um, take those opportunities, and yeah, and then and enjoy it. So and the next goal will be to qualify for Paris 2024. Um, that's in January. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll be in a position where we can then go and compete for, for the gold medal at Paris. So the preparation for our Olympic qualifiers in January will look like um, playing some good um, top class games. So we play, we're going away um, in November to Argentina, where we'll play Argentina and Holland, who are the top one and two nations in the world at the moment. So that will really prepare us very well. We just have to set high standards every day at training. And you know, th that's tough. That's the environment that we're in, but and that's the pressure we're under, but we, we enjoy it and we love it. So um, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. <laughs>